Hi. Abhi, um, uh, now we are going to see about the CAN cycle. Many people are used G71, G72 and G70. Now uh, in this video we are going to see G71, G72 and G70. Uh, all these three we are going to see now. Uh, G71 is the straight roughing cycle. G72 is the uh, cross roughing cycle and G70 is the finishing cycle for both. So for that I have made one small example. So this area I need to machine. Now I am going there. <coughs> Can cycle rough. In chaining option I will select uh, from here to on the end. Okay, yeah, the, okay. I will say accept. So I am selecting the tool. So all the parameters you need to add, you can add it. So here is the parameter. So what is the stock you need to leave? So what is the clearance you want to keep? 2 mm you can give it. So is that clearance also 2 mm? Depth of cut is 1 mm. Uh, if you want extension length, if you want, you can add it, otherwise leave it. Okay. Uh, uh, you can, you can, in case a plunge is available, you can switch on the plunge parameter. So now you can see that in the, how that uh, uh, cycle is going to come, it's shown. Now you can see that how it is cutting now. Let us see that. This is a straight uh, roughing cycle. This is the canned rough cycle. Uh, now we can select canned finish. So just we select the change the tool. So remaining parameters will not come. So it will it will consider the old rough tool. Just I selected OK. Just to take out the output now G code. So now uh, you can observe. So G seventy one cycle u1 is your depth of cut p100 means 100 and q110 is the so this is a starting point of the cycle and this is the end point of cycle so this is the pq uh, remaining th things all are uh, related to the cycle so now you can see the finishing tool path. So you can see G70, uh, P, P, uh, P and Q value is there. So you can ask uh, what is the difference between the uh, normal tool path and uh, this tool path. So I can say that there is no big difference between the uh, long hand uh, code and this uh, can cycle code. Uh, what is the advantage why the people will prefer this is because it, the program length is small and uh, it will uh, allow the uh, programmer to modify. Uh, you can you can in the uh, di directly you can change the can cycle to uh, just permanently change the. So now th by doing this uh, G71 will go off. Now it will come as a normal uh, 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 tool path. There is no G71 in this case. Okay. So, uh, so nothing big difference. Uh, by switching on the CAN cycle, uh, you will get the very short program. So this is about the G71 and the G70. If you go on long cycle, long end cycle, 
uh, the number of uh, uh, parameter is uh, increase if you go can cycle number of parameter will reduce that's all i deleted now now the same profile i am going to use the cross roughing uh, uh, again i will go rough tool path uh, now i will select the chain Uh, I will select a start point from the direction change over. The chain direction definitely should be changed. Okay. So the same tool I have taken. So you can see in cutting method I will I will select the facing. I am taking the facing. Uh, we will see the compensation and other thing how it is. It is let us see now. No, 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 no. Something wrong <laughs> went wrong. Maybe I'll go and change the compensation direction to left. Okay. Initially it was correct only. Mm. Now you see the cutting pattern. It is happening in the vertical. Uh, this is your uh, C G72 cycle. Okay, so you can you can add a finishing pass also here. Here uh, uh, there is no big. Uh, so if you take uh, output of this, so here you will get a G72 cycle and a finishing 70 cycle. Now you understood what is the difference between G72 and G70. So straight roughing is G71 and cross roughing is the G72. Now both the cases G70 is the finishing cycle. So finishing cycle uh, pattern is referred by the uh, roughing cycle pattern. These are the uh, three cycles we have seen. Uh, uh, other than this, next is screwing cycle and pattern repeat cycle. So we'll take one more uh, new tool path. So I just delete this. Now we'll make it our own. I just switch on the shading. So stock will redefine little. I deleted the old stock. Now stock, uh, new stock I have just modified and make it. Length I will increase little more. OD also I will modify. Okay. Okay. So okay. So now we will try in this this one in the pattern repeat. Tool path and cycle pattern. Uh, okay, chain from start point here. Okay. <coughs> uh, in this, uh, so we will take the 55 degree tool or otherwise you can select the straight type of tool. So this neutral tool if you take uh, whatever the grooving or uh, forming you can do it very well. In parameters. 
tips in pattern roughing what is the step you want to give those things you can give number of passes you can give five passes if you want to leave the stock leave it accept it something went wrong let us see Okay, this is okay. I just change the tool to understand what is the issue. Okay. This stock is okay. Now this pattern also tangle. Okay, let us see now. Some things I am something I am doing wrong. So something uh, means uh, I have uh, here the tool is uh, entering directly in the material. So I will do one thing. Uh, little extension I will add. That the start point I need to uh, just to change it now. Little more. So that that uh, tool will enter in the air and uh, so we will put little bigger one. The start point I have modified. Okay. Otherwise, I will select, uh, reselect the chain. Okay, I think I need to do a rechain. I'll, I'll, I'll repeat the uh, procedure. Um, tool path. Pattern repeat cycle. Okay, chain. I'll remove the partial start point. Uh, okay, this uh, uh, pattern repeat cycle and the growing cycle. Uh, we'll see in the next video. Uh, I am making some uh, mistake. Uh, I am unable to trace it now. So let me study. Then I will add this. Uh, uh, what is my mistake? That I will explain in the next video. Thank you.